We're about to go to Val Demings, but go ahead. Sorry, finish your thought. As soon as Val Demings starts speaking, we're going to go to that. Go ahead. Yeah, no, no. And, and this well, evening, there you uh, as you all know, uh, things did not quite turn out uh, the way we had hoped. But that's all right. That's all right. I have spoken with Senator Rubio, and I congratulated him and said to him that Florida is our home state. And please continue to work. I want to let our viewers know that we're going to go to our station, CBS 4, WFOR CBS 4, to bring you a news update. But stay with us right now because we're going to continue uh, covering Val Demings giving her concession speech. Let's listen in. Of the people, for the people, and by the people. I know that we had gathered here tonight for a different result with a different result in mind. But I want to speak for just a moment about our democracy and where we are in our nation. You see, our democracy, it still matters. Am I right about that? But first, let me say this. I am so proud of the campaign that we have built over the past year and a half. Thank you all for being an amazing part of it. And you all also know that I did not get here alone. Countless people throughout our amazing state poured their time, their talents, and their treasure into this race. Whether you made calls in the final days or were with me from the beginning, I am humbled by your belief in this campaign. Thank you. <laughs> to my amazing staff, uh, they really do deserve an award. <laughs> they deserve an award to my campaign staff. Thank you all so much. To my congressional staff who kept the trains running while I was bouncing between Washington, D.C and the campaign trail. Y'all give my staff, my amazing team, a round of applause. Um, I don't know if, if Mayor Dyer is here, but I do want to uh, thank him. Um, I had the honor of serving as Orlando's chief of police, and it was there where I learned that the security and safety of our communities is and always should be our top priority as public servants, and I will never, ever forget that. <laughs> to my family, you all know how I am. I love to talk about my family. There's not many times that I don't uh, talk about my family to my sons, and to my grandchildren who have strengthened me and stood by me during some nights and tough schedules. You are more precious to me than anything, and I am grateful. But you all also know that I seldom travel alone, that I have the baddest backup possible. Um, I am so honored to um, call this person uh, my partner. Uh, you all know him as Orlando's former police chief, Orange County's former public safety director, Orange County's former sheriff, and current mayor of Orange County, my husband, Jerry Demons. No, no, no. I did not get here alone. No man or woman is an island unto 
ourselves. My parents, y'all know how much I talk about them. The maid and the janitor, Eloise and James Butler. I remember they used to go to work sometimes seven days a week, working odd jobs, growing their own food and fishing to put, fishing and hunting to put dinner on our table. I can still see them coming home at the end of a day so tired. You see, but they believed in the American dream. They believe that by working hard, playing by the rules, that we can achieve anything. They believe that our democracy is the greatest foundation on which all else depends, our democracy, and we must protect it and defend it. You see, my parents, they did not have much they didn't have a famous last name. They didn't have much money in the bank, but they were good, decent, honest people who taught us to be good, decent, and honest. They believed in the promise of America. I believe in the promise of America because I've seen the promise of America. That's why every election cycle, my parents pressed their way to the polls. If her car was broken down, they would pay someone to drive them. If they had to work at the end of their day, they would press their way to the polls. You see, they understood that their vote counted as much as the richest man and woman in town. That's what living in a democracy is supposed to be about. They knew, my parents, that the safety, our prosperity, our future depends on our democracy. Today, you all know that our constitutional rights are under attack. Costs are way too high, and working families are wondering if they can still believe in the American dream, wondering if our democracy can still deliver the safety and prosperity on which we all depend. In the coming years, American democracy, it will be tested. This is going to be the great challenge of our lives, possibly one of the greatest. You've been listening to Val Demings as she gives her concession speech tonight, losing in the race against Marco Rubio 56% to 43%. She's giving her concession speech tonight in Orlando, where she was a police officer and police chief for years. Yeah, Congresswoman from Central Florida as well. She said that she called Marco Rubio to congratulate him, and we should highlight the fact she is accepting the results of the election.